I want to share what I learned at the master's class advanced search session. I'm going to be talking in this series and several videos. Uh, I'm going to start with aerial searches, the one that you select or, or establish by adding filters in here. Also, you can do new search and even format the columns and all that, but it's basically the same. Uh, so I'm going to be talking about this. I'm going to be talking about quick filter and how you actually can combine them both. And in the later part of the session, I'm going to talk some more about quick filters and AQL searches. There's a lot to learn here. So let's get started. Let's say that our mission is to find, we, we suspect that a particular IP has cleared the Windows event logs in the last 24 hours. So, well, we, we can actually search that. And the aerial searches are particularly efficient when you're looking for things that, you know, have this thing between bracket index, meaning there's an index built in the database, so this thing should be very fast to be searched. So, for example, let's search for the source IP and look for the source IP 172.16.60.204 add that filter and then go back 24 hours to look for that. Well, and here we see it. Windows security event logs has been clear and actually they contributed to an offense, but that's, uh, that's uh, another uh, subject. Let's actually take a look at the event. I want you to see the payload because we're going to be doing some searches on the payload there. You know, in here, the 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 property that was uh, indexed was uh, the source IP, the source asset name, you know. But notice that in the payload there are parts that are not being indexed, obviously, like this message. The audit log was clear. Okay? That that part, obviously, you're not going to index that because that's going to vary it on a, with, with every log. So let's go back uh, to our list. And one small tip, if you have multiple pages on your search, there are a couple of things that you can do to visualize them better. One is to pivot them, for example, on event name. And that's going to reduce, instead of 22 pages, now you have three where the events are actually combined. Uh, you know, you see the sum of them. And that reduces uh, the number allows you to visualize that. But a couple of things before I move forward. One is, notice that by default, Curator is going to give you 1,000 events. Is that what you want? Is that, you know, you, you want to find just the first occurrence of it? If that is the case, you might be better off by putting here something like 15, which is one page, or, you know, uh, or, you know, any other smaller quantities. Notice that when I put here 15, the system is telling me, hey, I have more stuff than that, but you asked me to stop at 15, so here you are. This is These are the 15 that, uh, that you actually want. Obviously, in order to make your search faster, make sure that you don't go, you know, if you're looking for 24 hours, don't go a month ago, because that's going to make your, your search incredibly stronger. It's a good practice to keep this current statistic twisty down so you see how long did your search take now a couple of things that can help you make your search more efficient is to put filters that help you be more specific so for a good candidate for that for example if you don't know the IP address like is the case let's say that you you know that this is a Windows group of, of log sources well you can actually specify that in your filter and that will make the data far more specific also this section here which is more detail in my case only shows the single curator console that i have because i have kind of an all-in-one uh, i don't have event processor in my demo system uh, but let's say in most cases uh, in, in environments that are uh, geographically distributed or, or too large, you have multiple event processors and maybe those event processors have their own data nodes. Well, you can actually, if you know that the log source that you are looking for is in a specific uh, uh, event processor, you can make yourself more efficient by selecting here 
the event processor, you know, and then specify the name. Again, I only have one because that is my, my setup. Again, put as many conditions, typically two, three are better in order to reduce the scope of the search and therefore make your search more efficient. Now, we have said, have said that uh, aerial searches are very efficient when things are indexed, but you don't have to search only for indexed stuff. So actually clear that search and go here and add, actually, let me start, stop that and start with a clean search. If we go here and look for a property and typical are contain or match here, payload contains, and the value that we want to look for is something that is included in the payload and, and is a part of a text and is audit log was created. That's the that's what was in the payload of the event that we were looking for. But notice that if I clear add this filter and I go back the same 24 hours, this is going to take a great deal of time. Why? Well, because I'm not I'm not doing any specificity. I want you to look in all the payload that is even in my uh, demo system uh, to, to look for that. So this is going to take a, a great deal of time and I'm also the, the, the result limit here is not impactful because I don't think I'm going to get, you know, a thousand of those. But certainly this condition, this or match or any regex condition that you can easily put in your aerial searches are definitely going to, you know, it's going to impact the performance. I'm going to pause the video because this may take around maybe two or three minutes uh, until that uh, finishes. So, so look at that three minutes well why well because we told it look at all the payload that you have in here and look for that specific you know string in the payload and it did it, it find it so how can we do this um, in a more efficient way well let me that's precisely where the quick filters are in the same way that Arial is all about index quick filter index everything that it gets tokenize the components and put everything into uh, uh, individual indices. Kind of a Google search, but not exactly. It's a Lucene engine. So don't take the analogy with Google searches too far. And more of that on the second video. But uh, it actually is, you use quick filters when you want to look for stuff that is basically not indexed, that it will be too expensive to look on standard aerial searches. So let's, let's go back to a clean slate and search for the same text in a more efficient way. So if we were to execute that search here going on the quick filter alone, I'm, I'm going to put it just like that, more on that, on how to make that even more efficient uh, later. If we, make, we were to make that search, and I'm actually going to go back uh, 24 hours as well to make the search uh, the same as the other one. Notice that in three seconds it finds, it's not in the first page, but notice that all the stuff that it found in, in just three seconds, as, as we said before, when you get too many of those searches, one way is to actually pivot. Let me pivot again on event name. And notice that that's a search in itself and I can look for that particular event I don't think it is on this page let me go to the second page and here it is that's the same ev uh, event that we were looking for in just three seconds and that's how when you use again you use quick filter for things that are not indexed you use aerial searches when things are indexed mostly but you can combine them both okay can, an example in a minute you can make that search more efficient so instead the, the the thing is that if we search like this we are actually and more on that on the second video we are doing a quick filter by looking at logs that contain the word audit and uh, or sorry 
log or was all clear and we are we just want to look for that whole string so if we put this on the record and this is similar to what you do in Google and we perform the same search going back 24 hours let's see how long it takes 63 milliseconds so it's much faster and here is the the same event that we were actually looking for let me finish this first video by showing that you can combine them both so for example I can say go and look for all the source log source uh, source IP rather and we know that that is a 172.16.60.204 for the last 24 hours well, those are lots of uh, events but it didn't take it didn't take that long 52 but I actually want to add another filter I only have one here I want another filter which is a quick filter and I can actually paste here the audit log was clear right and if I add that filter I got the same search actually very efficient and it's the combination of something index an aerial search and something that is not index well actually it is index but on individual components these are tokenized in an individual fashion this video is long enough for the first part one we're going to be diving into quick filter in part two of this video